So apparently they got a um, a train on fire. Allegedly they got a train on fire at the Back Bay train station. So let's see what they have over here. Somebody actually confirmed it, but I'm not too sure how bad it is. So let's see what they got. As far as we know, we they evacuate the station. To show sure of all the details, blocking the street. Um, possible a train on fire. Possible. Not too sure if they. I guess they are allowing people inside. Not too sure. Nine eight three ocean north. Eight nine eight three. Get up. Hey, get up. Six ocean north. Get up. Watch your step, watch your step. I guess they still have the power on the uh, the tracks.
You have all the engine numbers? Looks like one of the lines that feed the third rail. It could be a bad connection or overheat. Not too sure what it is. That's um that's one of the uh, cables that feeds the uh, third rail. Ladder seven, a medical assist, three oh seven Bond Street, Dorchester. Ladder seven, a medical assist, three oh seven Bond Street, Dorchester. Nearest spot one eight nine two Quincy and Bond Street. 1604. Attention on three passengers. 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 Attention Looks like they're going to send it back to um, New England Medical Center. Ladder 14, a poisoning. Highgate Street and Cambridge Street. Brighton, Ladder 14, a poisoning. Highgate Street and Cambridge Street. Brighton, nearest box 5131 Cambridge Street and Harvard Ave, 1605. Ladder 24, cover station 7. Attention ladder 24. You guys can smell the, um, 1604. The, I don't know if it's plastic on the insulation on. You guys can smell it. Yeah, be careful breathing that stuff. That stuff could be really toxic if you try to breathe it. And it makes that awkward and sparking as well because of what the, the condition that it's in. Service 
Service is suspended between the station and back. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
It seems like the fire's all out. Now he's got to do the repair. Like the power was being cut to the third rail. Um, Boston Fire is giving it all clear. Um, these guys are going to have to get to work fixing it. I'm going to head up out of here. Just want to give you a little idea of what's going on in the city. I hit the Back Bay uh, train station. Hey right, guys. Catch you guys on the next one. Um, a little smoky, but nothing major.
they're giving they're giving it the all out. Um, head up out of here. Head to my uh, original destination. It came in as a train fire, but it wasn't the train that was on fire. It was actually the uh, the third rail that gives the power to the train that was on fire. So Back Bay is going to be closed down and look like both directions. They're going to be doing shuttle buses. I'm going to head up. See how the outside looks. Boston Fire should be for the most part clearing up out of there. The boss of fire gives you all out. So how you doing? All right. what MBTA is calling a power problem, um, but we saw some pictures of what looked like some MBTA workers that were putting out a fire on the tracks, and that is why you see all of these first responders out here. It looks like the back bay um, orange line is suspended, and right now it seems as though they're using the green line as a way to get people where they need to go. Um, we're going to, of course, bring you the news on 7 News, but this is the scene. Still out here today. So if you are expected to get on the orange line, just know that there will be some disruptions. 
That was pretty accurate. That was accurate. Well, I'm a reporter, so I hope that it's accurate. <laughs> it is accurate. I, I was down here when, when the tracks were on fire. So it was, yeah. So, so here's the thing, but they're calling it a power problem. No, it's, a, it's the third a rail. Problem. The third rail was actually on fire. Yeah. What? Oh, it was it. So did it catch on fire? Yeah. Yeah. Not, not the train. It wasn't the train. It was like the wheel, right? No, it was the, you know the arm that touches the third wheel? That arc can cause the cable to catch on fire. Ah, so there's, okay. a, there's a cable that feeds the third rail. <laughs> you got to get the right information. <laughs> he said, that's, that's what happens when somebody tells you to give you the wrong information. The training was never on fire. It was the, it was the, um... It was actually the third rail cable that feeds the um, third rail that was on fire. It was it was probably a loose connection or something, but could be overheated or whatever. But that's that was on fire because it originally came in as a train being on fire. It was not the train on fire. See how you got to get you got to get the correct information. Now, she, now she's famous. You you guys don't know her, but she she's very famous out here. You don't, you don't, you, you never seen him on TV before? You got a smile. You're doing a good job out there. Keep up the good work. You did a good, you, you got, you got the right, you got the right information though. It wasn't, it wasn't the train on fire. It was actually the third reel that was on fire. Yeah. So, so, you, so you were here, you, you. I, I came here when like the third fire truck showed up. Okay. So I went down there and actually started recording and when they went down there. And you were able to see all of that. Yeah. Can you do an interview with us and tell us what you saw? No, Man, I'm not going to do that. you can keep your mask on. Nobody's going to know it's you. We just well, want to hear from somebody that was, you know, that, that kind of witnessed some of it unfold. Oh, well, you see it on my YouTube channel. Just type in Neza Porter. Come on, man. We find want to YouTube channel. We want to talk to you. <laughs> uh, all I can tell you is I saw the third reel. The cable, look at the cable that feeds the third rail. Tell me all of that on TV. All right, I, I, now, do, I do the best, now, I do the best YouTube, I can YouTube. without messing it up. On your YouTube. Let's go. Come on. Without, without, without messing it up, I try to do the best I can. Mess up. It's just a conversation. We're just talking. I'm going to say I saw the third, the cable that feeds the third rail. Yes. in and sparking. It was on. It was. So just tell me what you saw. I mean, you came out here, what, when all these fires? I came here when the fire trucks showed up. And once I came there, I saw the third rail cable. They will feed the third wheel, arcing and sparking, and that's what was causing the fire. It wasn't a train on fire, it was actually the cable going to the third wheel on fire. So it seemed to have happened with one of the wheels, right? I don't think it was the wheel, I think it was the arm that touches the third wheel, that, okay. that feeds off the third wheel. That thing, I don't know if you know how it works, and it touches it, that's how it gets the feed from the um, third wheel. There's like a little arm that touches it. When they draw it onto that, that's when it causes all the sparking, and that's how it started. So, you know, this is, this is what, something common, or...? Well, it could be common. I don't know too much about it, but, you know, it happens all the time, and not, not to that extent, though. Yeah. So this is, this is, this happens often? Yeah, what, what happens, they, they change from one side to the other side to the third wheel. So when it switches over, it switches to the other side, and it causes that. And it disrupts, I mean, It's like a surge. Like it's, like, it's like a quick surge. If you have a weak connection, it can cause that. That's all it could be, just a loose connection. And it's not somebody's fault, it's just that it just happened. Okay, but here's the thing, though. MBTA has been known for a lot of these issues happening. I am aware of that, know? yeah. So a lot of people, they're, they're kind of upset because they're paying all this money, and then all of these disruptions happen. I so, agree. So, you know, you, you see, you saying this is common, you mm -hmm. know, this happens kind yeah. of often. I'm going to talk to Charlie Baker about that one. <laughs> I mean, do you take the MBTA? Not that often. Sometimes I do. Okay. I don't think it's that reliable to take it all the time, to be honest with you. I have taken it. I've seen the disruption they do have. Yeah. I mean, so you want to see when the fire uh, game showed up? At I was here when the um, I heard the box struck. I'm a YouTuber, obviously. Uh, I I follow the channels, and I I came here when like the third fire, third or fourth fire truck showed up. I came up here, came down, and that's what I saw. They, have to they evacuated the station out. And they told people that they will be doing shuttle buses from Back Bay on to Jackson, and then going the other way as well. And it looks like now they're using the green line to kind of get people from North Station. Right. And I don't know like, how long they're going to do that. It's going to take a while for them to fix that cable. So it's going to be a little while. That's yeah. what I was going to say. I mean, yeah. yeah, so how long can people 
people expect, you know, just, just give or take. I know. I would say at least three to four hours. At least. Give it some time. Hey, how you doing? Not too Good bad. to see you. you. All right. I, I didn't catch your name. My name is Nessa Porter. He knows who I am. Were you on the train? No, I was not on the oh. train. <laughs> <laughs> he heard the scanner. So. Oh, I, okay. I wasn't on the train. And how do you spell your name? N e z e r p o r t e r. Okay. Yeah. If you could, uh, just tell us what, what covering the news, guys. making the news. I'm, I'm covering. I was covering the news, and she wanted to interview me. Yeah. So. <laughs> it seemed like he saw yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah. I kind of got. I kind of got here right when the first responders got here. So it, it was. You know, it was a small fire, not a big fire, but it's basically like, the, it's like if you want to call it the insulation that covers the cable, that probably what was burning. And my opinion, it was the arcing from the train third rail arm touching that and the surge pulling through this caused that to happen. And that's typically what happens, you know, it shouldn't happen, but it does happen. And did you see the firefighters going in? And doing the firefighters did go in. I think they gave it all clear now. Now you got just tea workers down there that are working on it. So and did you go down there? I went down there. Yeah. yeah what did what? Could you tell? Just, any, just like the regular throw rail on fire. Nothing major. <laughs> Were there like was there a lot of smoke or anything like that? Not that much smoke. Not that. Not a lot. Not enough to be alarmed about. No. But you saw like some charring or. I saw a just... sparking and a little flame coming off from that little cable that feeds the third rail. That's all I could tell you. Other than that, I couldn't tell you when the last time that was maintained. I couldn't tell you that. That's a good question. We might want to figure that out when the last thing was checked. So it was still sparking when you went down there. And yeah. They weren't throwing anything on it because of the Well, you don't want to put water yes. on it. They had dry chemical standby just in case. Uh, to my knowledge, I don't think they used the dry chemical, but they did have it standing by just in case. And the train, no train was over that area? The train was right directly in front of it. It stopped just short of it. Just like maybe 10 feet short of, it, of that area. To, I think the train driver could have saw it and like, allowed him to stop, to be honest with you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yes, did you get video of it? I do have video. You're going to find it on my YouTube channel. Can it's, we credit you? Yeah. yeah I'm gonna t it's going to be under my Nez Porter channel. So, it, um, Nez you I'm going to post it up in like five minutes probably. Okay. As a matter of fact, I'm going to see if I can... This one is Nezaporta. So if you type in 